it's an interesting clash for Dublin coming into it as All Ireland champions, and haven't, that hasn't happened since 1996. And um, ironically, back then, Louder ran them close enough in Navan. Um, so it's a difficult game from from Dublin's perspective. Louder coming into it with a bit of momentum, with a bit of confidence. They got a last minute uh, goal against Westmead. Uh, Peter Fitzpatrick is certainly a positive uh, man who will drive them and have, have them arriving here in a positive frame of mind. In any game, if you get a platform in the middle of the park, you're, you're, you're halfway to making progress, and that's going, that's going to be where the game is going to be won in the, in the middle of the, the field. And if Dublin can get the better of that, though, their midfield pairing, uh, they, they should get through. But Loud will be optimistic that uh, Paddy Keane and Carroll can drive them forward. There was a hangover from last year's All Ireland. There's no, there's no doubt about that, and I think that's only natural. We've seen that in the past with other teams, and some of their performances weren't up to the level that Pat Kilroy would have required. And but I think that comes naturally with all with All Ireland success. And the difficulty for Dublin is they're coming into the championship without momentum. And la last year, despite the fact they had lost the league final, they had a lot of pos positive results in the league. And you know that's that's why it's so important that they get in here, they get a win under the belt, they get that confidence back, and and it carries them through to the semi final. But it's certainly a, a different challenge for Dublin coming into this year's. Ireland. There's a lot of expectation. In some ways, the pressure is off, and they might play, you know, with the shackles off, and play with that bit of confidence that uh, we, you know, that we would expect to see from them. It's a very difficult challenge when when players don't have game time. Uh, as much as the general public expect them to come in and perform like they did last year, it's very, very difficult. You cannot underestimate the importance of having game time under under your belt, and you just can't come into this arena and expect to perform. So that is a bit of a challenge and a bit of a worry for Dublin. That Bernard Brogan hasn't got a lot of game time. He didn't play any league football. Alan has limited time. Barry Cahill is only coming back. Oh no, Gara picked up an injury in, in the league campaign and missed the last few games. So there's there's a lot of questions that need to be answered from a Dublin perspective. And those guys particularly will want to get in here and get a game under their belt because that will give them get get get, get them back on track. And it will be interesting to see what team Pat Kilroy goes with. I think it won't be as easy for Dublin as many people anticipate. They will have to uh, shake off some rustiness in the early stages. Uh, but in terms of quality, I think Dublin will still have strength and depth. And Pat Kilroy will probably look at a few options, try a few fellas out. Uh, it's going to be, you know, Dublin have challenges in terms of trying to get game time into Bernard Brogan and Alan Brogan, fellas that have missed the league campaign. But overall, I can see Dublin maybe pulling away and winning by seven or eight points.